Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to this month's live with uh, Coding and More. Uh, as you all may know, uh, we have monthly lives every month that are open to uh, students across 8 to 16 years. And uh, we love doing these lives because we don't have to speak, we teachers, and it's the students who present their lovely work and their creative ideas. Um, so Coding and More specializes in AI education for children in the K-12 level. Uh, and recently, we also have started doing AI trainings for school teachers and also other adults from non-technical backgrounds. Uh, and this live every month is an effort to uh, share uh, learnings with other students. And hopefully, you know, they can take inspiration from each other and um, brainstorm together and also get inspired from each other's ideas. So today we have Isha with us. Uh, and she's going to be presenting her project to you all. Um, I won't tell you too much about her project because I think it will be better if she explains to you what it is about. But I think it's a really creative idea and it's such a nice way to explain a very, very important concept. So I'm not going to say what the concept is. I'll keep the mystery alive and you all can, uh, you know, watch her project. She's going to explain to you about it and then hopefully we can discuss a bit more at the end. All right, so uh, over to you, Isha. Okay, um, should I share my screen? Okay. Um, this is my project, and basically it's a game. So, Vivan, would you like to play? So I think uh, there are probably a few questions and maybe you can help answer those. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, a teacher, maybe? Mostly. Uh, book. Okay. A doctor yeah. or nurse would be working in office. Okay. Um, which one? Which one? Doctor or nurse? Looks more like a nurse. Okay. Our teacher is like a math teaching us to do. Okay. A doctor. Okay. Yeah. If you want, if you can't read it, I'll go to the to the fold where you can. So yeah, basically this project is like address gender bias, and you actually got more right answers than most, but um. Yeah, you yeah. did a really good job with that, actually. Yeah, okay, one sec. I'm just going to share a new tab. Okay, here, these are the images that I got. And, like, you can see that even Google has this bias. There's barely any images that exist. Even scientists. Not that much. Not that much. So, these are where I got all my pictures from. So here I have to specifically search this because when I just search teacher, there aren't that many. Okay. 
Yeah, so you have to like specifically search male homemaker. If I just do homemaker, it doesn't come. Like the closest yeah. I got is a family doing not just the dad. And here, see, if you don't put that part, mostly done. Yeah. Yeah, also, so then... I searched it. So, in the nurses, actually, most people know this. There's not that much of a disparity. But, like, this still is. As you can see, most of it is. And here. Doctor doesn't give me the results I wanted. Yeah. There's like two, maybe three in the whole page. Maybe a few more. So, yeah. So that means that even Google has these biases. So, yeah. Basically, the project is to address how we all have these biases. And, like, this is my training data. I specifically put she because I because in the images I've given it's a female, so um it it's like specified to that. She here, she here, she here, like that. I was trying to think of different words for all of these, and then in the code here you can see it keeps. A variable and it checks the right answer on the long answer. So you can tell on average how biased you are. So, so also um the AI isn't biased because it just is. It's biased because of whatever training data we put. So like if this wasn't a text recognized AI, if I, for example, set it on these images on like the top row and then put like, for example, this one in or like the one I put. So if I set it this top row images and these top row images and then I put in this image, it's more likely to say she's a not. It's the training data. Yeah, because all the females are nurses here. All the males are nurses. So, um, you have to work extra hard to make sure that the training data doesn't have any biases. And it's not just for the gender. There's like lots of other biases. Like even big famous companies have AIs with biases. Um, I think. Facebook, well, some company, I forgot the name, I probably shouldn't have, was um made an AI to check CVs to see who to hire, and they trained on past CVs, and um because of the name and stuff, more it could tell which CVs were male and female, and of course, the company had a track record of hiring more men, so the AI also hired more men. So then when they remove the name and all the details that could help you tell which, it still found a way to be biased because um men have a different writing style to women, I guess. So basically there were these differences in the CVs and it could tell because of the biases. So what the company should have done, I'm not sure if they did it, but what they should have done is either make less training data so that there's an even amount of CVs from both men and female, or they could have waited to train the AI until they had more um, female employees, and then it would even out, I guess. So, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say. So, yeah. All right, that was amazing, Isha. Thank you so much. I think that was such a um, 
nice explanation of bias and an interesting way to learn about it too. Uh, I think both your AI project, like the concept behind your AI project and also the coding were both fabulous. And uh, yes, I think Vivan was able to guess most of them correctly, but you know, it's probably because he's an AI student already. But, uh, you know, most people like, especially for the one with the nurse and things like that, you know, uh, the cook, the chef, the nurse, those are common ones, like you also showed with your Google example. And yeah. I loved also how you explained, you know, uh, in real life, how these can have like negative consequences in society and cause like uh, unfair situations, right? Even for deserving people, like how you gave the example, the company and the hiring by it. Um, and most of us don't realize that we Google things every day in our life, but we don't realize that our views and our perspectives can get shaped based on what we see on the internet over time. Um, so I think that was a very, very important topic that you brought to light with your uh, project, Isha. So thank you. Vivan, do you have any questions for her? No, it's quite a well-explained. Yeah, I, I, I agree completely. We yeah. also have Miss. Tanvi, who's Isha's wonderful teacher. So, Ms. Tanvi, do you want to say anything? I think Isha has really uh, shed light on a very pertinent topic, right? I mean, I think uh, ethics in AI is a big thing now. I think with more people being exposed to the technology itself, uh, I think being aware of, I think like Isha rightly said, it's not the AI that's biased. Yes, it comes across like that. But of course, the humans are still training the AI models and hence humans come with their own inherent biases. Sometimes, of course, unintentional. But uh, when they do cause these biases, you have to be very mindful of the sort of data that you do train your model with. Uh, could be as small as putting in the right number of examples in each label or category as you go on training it. Besides the fact that you actually put in correct data also, right? So it's a um, multitude of factors, I think, that comes together. but uh i think very well put from a student's perspective of how you've actually understood that topic so well and uh, putting it in the form of a game i think really uh, sometimes makes you think out of the box and like she rightly said this was just one sort of bias but uh, there are other biases as well so it's it's always good to have that additional knowledge so very well done isha nice project and of course uh, like mr dima said the coding was also done very well so great job yeah, I completely agree, Ms. Tanvi. I think, you know, with so many, with AI becoming more popular and so many people using AI, it's so important that we're all at least aware of these kinds of things that, um, you know, the downsides of it as well. Of course, it can be really, really useful, but yeah. we also have to be aware about uh, what cannot be so perfect sometimes and uh, do our bit yes. towards that. Yeah. All right. So I think that was, uh, if no one has any more questions, then I think we can stop here. Thank you, Isha, again, for the wonderful presentation. And thank you, Vivan, as well, for joining in. Yes. Uh, um, just for the sake of the recording, uh, you know, this uh, Isha's project will be up on our YouTube channel and also we'll be including it in our newsletter this month. So uh, if anybody else wants to have a look at it or you want to go back and see it, you can always find it on our YouTube or our newsletter. Yeah, so, sure. All right. So thank you again for coming and I'll just stop recording now.